Hello, young discoverers. I have a riddle for you. Heat from the sun makes me rise. When I freeze, I turn into ice. You may drink me for free or I come with a prize. Who am I? Yes, you all have guessed it right. The answer is water. Children, when water freezes, it becomes ice, solid. When ice melts, it's liquid. And on heating, it's steam. So different states, different names. Is this physical or chemical change? You all have learnt about physical and chemical changes in your upper primary classes. Let's see how much you can recall. Physical and chemical changes, they occur all around you every day. Let me give you a small task here. Create your own chemical and physical change story. For example, it's your birthday, your brother is decorating the place with cutting colorful strips, blowing balloons, mother is baking cake for you, father is cooking your favorite food and so on. Make sure that your story includes at least five different chemical and physical changes. Now look here, I have piece of old newspaper, three pieces I have got, one, two and three. Now one I will keep for reference, this is the second piece and this is the third piece. Now all these pieces you just observe carefully, they almost are of same size here. Now this as I told you is for reference, this one I am just going to fold it and make something out of it. So okay, let me quickly just do it. And sort of I have created a fan type of a thing. And can you compare the size of this piece of newspaper with this original one? So this kind of change where there is a change in size or appearance, what will you term it as? A physical change. Yes, I'm sure you can recall from your seventh and sixth classes, you've already done this. And well, why don't you compare and measure the area of these two papers? You can become a mathematician along with the scientist. Okay, now this paper, I have the third paper. Let me burn it. And if you want to burn it, children, you should do it under the assistance of your parents if you are doing it at home. So children, can you see that where the original piece of paper is going? See, what is the end product? Let us compare it with this original piece of paper. Is it same? What is the difference can you see here? Some new substance has formed and this is the ash which you can even see rising. So here again there is a moral lesson for you. We should never burn paper or garbage in open because so much of pollution and ash is made. We should always dispose it and bury it under sand so that compost is made. Yes, coming back to our science, see some new substance has been made. So here a chemical change has occurred. So can you recall and define what is a chemical change? A chemical change is one in which one or more different substances, they interact with each other to produce one or more different substances. They are called chemical changes. And always remember, in this change, new substance is formed. So today, we are going to learn about chemical reactions and equations of class 10th. Many such changes are happening around us. 
children have you seen that sometimes the copper vessel with some kind of a greenish coat on it and yes see i have an iron substance can you see some kind of a brown substance on it yes these are the chemical reactions which are happening all around us and i also have got wait, these cut potatoes wait, wait. and brinjal can you observe some kind of brown layer on it and yes children sometimes when your mother gives you apple to eat in school and you open your tiffin what do you find the apples are no more freshly cut look they have some kind of brown layer on it so all these changes are happening around you and these are chemical changes which we are going to study in detail so my little discoverers you have seen the changes on the surface of these vegetables and some substances around you the little explorer or the discoverer in you i am sure must be wondering why these changes are happening put on your thinking caps and go explore and find out the answers the curiosity is the mother of invention and yes i am sure you will be able to define what a chemical change is let's try writing it down chemical change is also called a chemical reaction you may perhaps be wondering as to what actually is meant by a chemical reaction how will you come to know a chemical reaction has taken place let us perform some activities to find out answers to these questions so here is the first activity where i'll bring a magnesium ribbon i'm sure you must have seen the magnesium ribbon but yes before we start burning it we need to rub it nicely with sandpaper so here i have the strip of magnesium ribbon and after rubbing it we will burn it see the dazzling flame but yes never stare at it this flame is very sharp and can harm your eyes be careful to maintain proper distance and it would be better if you wear eye protection and yes always perform this activity under supervision of teacher what are you observing along with dazzling flame you can see white powder falling into this watch glass what is this white powder this is the new substance this white ash i would like to ask you one question here is this white ash heavier or lighter than the original strip of magnesium now let us compare this white ash with the original magnesium ribbon this is continuous strip of hard lustrous metal and here you can see that this is white powdery substance do the state has not changed but yes there is definitely some difference in the appearance you can observe the change carefully and children this is very important skill you need to develop as a discoverer as a scientist your observational skill has to be very very sharp magnesium ribbon has changed into white powder you can see the change in color this was hard lustrous shiny metal and now it has turned into white powder what is the other observation you can make well this is a hard lustrous metal and here you can see this is a powdery substance though the state has not changed but definitely somewhat the appearance has changed now it is soft powdery ash is this a chemical or a physical change correct this is a chemical change and this is you can say a chemical reaction has occurred here can you name this white powder hmm yes magnesium has reacted with oxygen present in the air so magnesium and oxygen has reacted hmm i am sure you are getting the answer right it is magnesium oxide formed due to reaction between magnesium and oxygen 
So, can you guess now why magnesium ribbon should be cleaned before burning in air? Now, let us perform another interesting activity. I have made aqueous solution here of lead nitrate and potassium iodide. What is aqueous solution children? Yes, when solute is dissolved in water as solvent, it becomes aqueous solution. So, here I have made these two aqueous solutions. Now, let us see what happens if we mix these two solutions. So, here is the petri dish and observe carefully. Wow! I am sure you all are very excited to see the change in color. Such bright yellow cadmium and this is again an indication that yes, chemical reaction has taken place. Children, now you see what science is all about and you must be wondering, oh, is this not the way the people are making various colors? Hmm, I am sure this is another indication will help you to determine that chemical reaction has occurred. Here I have a very small assessment for you. I have water in this beaker and I am going to add a very small amount of a substance. See carefully. Now is this also a chemical reaction happening? So, this is what is quiz for you. You have to tell me whether this is a chemical change or not. Ponder over, think and deduce your answer because this is what scientists also do. When they have to discover something, they seek answers to the various questions which come to their mind and I am sure you are the next scientist in the making. Now, there is another interesting activity for you and you must record it so that proper understanding is developed after you see the observations because in science children observational skills have to be developed and they get developed when you are watching experiment carefully or doing it yourself. So, here I have made dilute hydrochloric acid in this boiling test tube and here I have brought zinc granules in watch glass. Now, first observe the surface of the zinc granules. Note down the color. Aren't they shining? I am going to put one zinc granule into the dilute HCl in the boiling tube and you have to note it very, very carefully what are the changes going to happen? See children, can you see some changes happening on the surface of the zinc granule and observe the bubbles arising from under the zinc granule. These bubble in science are called effervescence. So, have you noted down that evolution of gases happening here? Yes. Now, which gas is being evolved? Can you guess? We will learn in detail about this later in the chapter. Let us touch the test tube. Is there any change in temperature? Oh, it is little hot now. That means there is change in temperature. So, another observation which helps us to determine whether a chemical reaction has taken place change in temperature and children. So, now I am sure today you have learned different observations which help us to determine if chemical reaction has taken place. So, you have learnt about change in state, change in color, evolution of gas and change in temperature. You have also learnt as a discoverer that learning by doing is very important. When you perform, you observe, you verify 
and inquire. So put on your thinking cap and do some intelligent guessing. Note down the changes which are happening around you. I'm sure every day you must be experiencing some chemical or some physical changes around you. Like water, remember? Water is present in all the states and whether change of water into liquid state and when it gets evaporated into steam, was that a physical or chemical change? And well, there is change in temperature also. So learning by doing is a permanent learning. So continue performing experiments, doing observations and you will be the future scientist. <laughs> <laughs>